Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the CW shows and the Arrowverse as a whole. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, the Arrowverse is continuing on. We have Naomi, which just started, and we have other shows which are supposedly coming, that being Justice U and Gotham Knights. I'm looking forward to them. Hopefully they do come to fruition. We know that Gotham Knights is filming sometime in April, their pilot episode. And if the CW like it, we'll be seeing more of it. We'll get a season one, which would be very, very exciting. But as always, we have to think about what shows potentially are going to be ending soon. As you guys know, the Arrowverse has seen a lot of shows actually go away recently. Starting with Arrow, the first Arrowverse show, obviously. And then Black Lightning and then Supergirl last November. And there has been lots of speculation that The Flash could be ending. However, we got recent confirmation with Grant basically being in talks about a multi-season contract or a single season contract that basically season nine would be happening of The Flash. And that goes against a lot of people's doubts because they were like, oh, The Flash is going to end, The Flash is going to end. It happens every season, especially as the show heads towards 10 seasons. However, it must be said that the CW has already set a precedent with Supernatural that a show can go past 10 seasons. And I think The Flash could definitely go up to 10 seasons. And so we've got new news today in regards to our Arrowverse shows and what shows could be staying around, could be going away, or is just completely up in the air right now. And this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter who is reporting on this. They go over all of the networks and analyze the likelihood of what they've heard in regards to some of the shows coming back or leaving, which means stopping or being cancelled, I guess, if it's in an early stage of the show. But something like The Flash would never be cancelled and something like, say, Riverdale wouldn't be cancelled, Superman Lois wouldn't be cancelled because those shows do really good for a network like The CW. Those shows end just like Supergirl, just like Arrow. Those ended because the stars wanted to end it because they've been doing the shows for so long. They would have never got cancelled and so that is a big, big thing to know. And so on the Hollywood Reporter's report card, let's call it that, if you scroll down to the CW's section, which you can click on the link and look at it in the description below, it's all listed alphabetically and so the first Arrowverse show that comes up is Batwoman. And so it says next to Batwoman, obviously produced by Warner Brothers, is that the show is on the bubble for season 4. Basically what on the bubble means is there is a chance that the show could end or be cancelled because it's on that bubble and if that bubble slightly goes off centre and they aren't happy with the show's ratings or how it's performing online, on social media or even just how it is behind the scenes, they could make the decision for a show like Batwoman to go away. And so this isn't too much of a shock. I would be shocked if something like Superman Lois was on the bubble, if it was described like that in this Hollywood Reporter article. We'll get to Superman Lois later, but seeing Batwoman with this, it's not that surprising considering that it doesn't have the biggest fan base, but yeah, I will acknowledge there is a big fan base for it, but it's not as big as some of the other shows. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think the ratings are as good as some of the other Arrowverse shows, and I think that's why it's on the bubble. It's not like, oh, it's terrible, like it's doing terrible for us, so we're just going to throw it away. It's a big decision that they're going to make, and I think what it means by on the bubble is like, yeah, we like it, but maybe we should think about this. And so those decisions will come at a later date. And so let me know, what do you think about this in the comments down below? Do you think Batwoman is going to return for season four? I think honestly, in all likelihood, it will come back. Even if it isn't the most popular show, I do think there is people out there watching it and people would definitely be upset. And I don't think it's necessarily like making them lose money. I think they're probably making some money, but maybe it's not as profitable as they like. But let's move on to the next show, so this is The Flash, which is a lock to return for season 9, but the end is near. So let's talk about this. So it's a lock to return for season 9, that means it's 100% happening. This is probably because Grant has agreed to his contract. And as we talked about before, when that news came out in regards to Grant turning down a multi-season contract, you have to remember most of the stars of the shows have like six seasons or seven seasons in their contract and then after that what they do is they don't accept multi-year deals because number one it gives them the option to go out of the show like end it if they actually want but 
the big thing is pay. So if you say buy something in bulk, you're gonna get it cheaper than what you would buy it individually. So if you look at a shop, say, they wouldn't buy 10 individual oat milks when they have the option to buy a whole load for a cheaper price. And obviously actors in our case, they don't want to have that cheaper price. They don't wanna be locked in and they want to earn as much money as possible. And so taking those season by season deals, that means they're able to negotiate how much money they get and the amount of time they get off and we know that Grant's contract includes like three episodes off or something like that. Okay, so at the end of this it says it's a lock to return for season 9 but the end is near. So this is just, you know, a rough estimation. This isn't any confirmation. Like I said for all of this, this is the Hollywood Reporter predicting what's going to happen based on some rumblings maybe they've heard. And I think it's pretty clear that the end is near, right? Because The Flash is heading into season 9 next year. We're on season 8 right now, and normally once we hit season 10, that will probably be the end of a normal show. However, there is big exceptions with something like Supernatural or over on CBS, something like NCIS. Those shows go on forever. And like we've said many times before, it's all really down to, in the case of the Arrowverse shows, if the stars want to stay. So if Grant Gustin wants to stay on for a season 10, there is going to be a Flash season 10. If he wants to stay on for two more years after that, up to season 12, and then end the show, there's going to be the Flash season 11 and 12. That would be 100%. So I think the idea of them saying the end is near is to basically back themselves up. If, say, news comes out, in like a year's time, they can be like, oh yeah, we said the end was near. Because there's always the option that Grant is going to be like, yeah, season 9, thank you, this has been great, I'm going to go be a dad, and I'm going to do other jobs, I'm going to be in films. I mean, he's even in a Netflix film recently. Between seasons, he normally shoots a film here or there, so maybe he wants in a couple of years time to take a break and do some films. There is always that option, and so hopefully that explains but the end is near bit of the Hollywood Reporter's writing. Okay, let's move on to the next show. Legends of Tomorrow is on the bubble for season eight. So that's the exact same thing and the same wording as Batwoman. So like I explained earlier, on the bubble means it could go either way. And season eight of Legends isn't 100% confirmed yet. However, according to reports online, the Legends of Tomorrow crew was told that they were going to return for season eight. So I'm fairly confident that after season 7 finishes, we're going to get the announcement probably at the upfront, which are in May time, I believe. We're going to get confirmation that there is going to be a Legends season 8. And honestly, by this point, I'm not going to bet against Legends. They have a really big fan base and they love the show. They tune in every single week. And yes, not all of us like the show anymore, but some people really love it for what it is right now. And with that rumor going around, I think there is a high chance that there is going to be a season 8, just because it has the fans, there's always talk about Legends when you're on social media, or you know, even the numbers, even though they aren't the best, they are always consistent, and like I said before, I just wouldn't bet against Legends, and I really do think a season 8 is coming. What do you guys think? Do you think it's possible that Legends is going to end? I swear, every year someone is like, oh, it's going to end, it's going to end, it's going to end, and then it never ends. Like, people thought season 4, season 5 would be the last season. They were like, if any Arrowverse show is going to end next, it's going to be Legends, because not everyone likes Legends, and a lot of people like the other shows, and Legends doesn't do as good in terms of ratings. So, I think, honestly, a lot of people were surprised that Legends has gone on up to season 7, and so I think that's why they are covering their backs in this article, saying... It's on the bubble, even though there's been rumors out there. Okay, so let's move on to the final two shows. The next one is Stargirl. They are awaiting word on season four, as season three has yet to air. So no word on Stargirl right now. I believe once season three has ended, then you'll get word on season four. And I do strongly believe Stargirl is gonna be around for a long time. I think it definitely has potential to do Legends or Supergirl numbers. Obviously Supergirl opted to end in season six, because that's when Melissa wanted to go away and do other stuff. Obviously, she's producing a new show now. She's even starring in it. She's got this deal with Warner Brothers. And I do think Stargirl has the fan base for it. And also, it's really well made. And I think they do like it quite a lot. So I really don't see Stargirl going anywhere. 
Okay, let's move on to the final show. This is Superman Lois, which is a lock to return for season three. This is an absolute no-brainer. Superman Lois is doing one of the best in the CW, and it's a relatively new show, and it was just like a complete smash as soon as it started. Literally everyone loves Superman Lois. Even non Arabus fans tune in to Superman Lois. Just Superman fans and everyone who likes DC in some sort of way has tuned in at one point to Superman Lois. And season 3 is an absolute no-brainer because it's doing really well for the CW, number 1. Number 2 is really good. Number 3 has got good social media interactions and that means in the future if they say put it onto HBO Max it's going to do good for Warner Brothers and considering that Warner Brothers television is producing the show they're going to want to keep it and the CW are going to want to keep it because it does good for them on their online platforms but also when it airs live and I just really see this show going for as long as The Flash at least it's going to be like the new Flash. Whenever the Flash ends, Superman and Lois is going to be the big show. Because right now, if you compare any of the Arrowverse shows, you unequivocally say the Flash is the biggest show. And if the Flash ends, you're going to say Superman and Lois is the biggest show. Even though something like Legends has gone on for so long, I feel like already Superman and Lois has solidified itself as one of the best Arrowverse or even DC shows out there of all time. And so I really do think it's going to go on for a long time, as long as they want it. And there is so many opportunities for it to continue with lots of storylines because, you know, Superman has endless storylines pretty much from the comics. But yeah, that about does it for this article. So let's just quickly talk in regards to the CW upfronts and what they mean. So they are coming in May. Normally, the CW upfronts is where they announce any big cancellations, any shows ending any shows being renewed or even new shows so say they've seen the Gotham Knights pilot by then they might announce a season one of the show however I don't know how likely that is because I don't know when in April they are starting to film Gotham Knights and you have to remember pilots on these shows take a lot longer to film than like a normal episode because they put a lot of effort into it and so maybe we could see the announcement of Gotham Knights or Justice U but I think the big thing for the upfronts, apart from all these shows being announced as coming back or ending, is the potential for a crossover later this year. In the past, they've traditionally announced crossovers at the upfronts, where they will bring out all of the cast and crew and the producers, and they will announce a big crossover event. And the reason that I'm really rooting for a crossover and why I think it's going to happen is things are easing up in terms of restrictions in the film industries, but I think especially because it's going to be the Arrowverse's 10th anniversary later this year. And so I think having a big 10th anniversary crossover would be something that everyone would love and everyone would tune in and I think it would do really good for them. And it would only make sense that they would try and make this happen. And I think if they announce it anywhere, they will announce it at the upfront and that's where you'll see the first announcement of something big like that coming. Now I'm not confirming it's going to happen, I have no inside information about any future crossovers, but I really do feel like they have to take this chance. Especially since a show like The Flash is still around, like imagine if The Flash goes away and we haven't had any big crossover since Crisis on Infinite Earths, what shows are you going to do it with? Yes, you have the rest of the shows, Superman's going to be a big thing, Stargirl's going to be there, Batwoman potentially there, and you know, some of the Legends crew who are still around. But you're going to have to get back some of those other characters from the past. They were probably be trying to get for Arrow. They're probably going to try and get Diggle back. And they'll probably try and get Supergirl back if they want. But that is going to be harder than having a show which is already filming. And say Grant is still filming in Vancouver for The Flash. It's much easier to get them to film something while they're there. So that about does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you did... Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. But for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy room.